Joining us now on the phone from Vero Beach, Florida, Tom Jerkins. He's the president of Premier Citrus, more than 20,000 acres of citrus groves under his umbrella. Tom, uh, what kind of preparations have you taken? Um, most of these properties are, are, have been designed with drainage systems. So we've got all the water levels down, we've got all the equipment locked up, and all the tanks are fueled, and the employers are either evacuated or gone home to return Monday or Tuesday when the storm passes. What are you expecting here? At best, I was doing some research and looking at University of Florida. They did a whole study on trees, all kinds of trees, and how they withstand winds. And at best, orange trees, citrus trees, I saw can only really sustain category one, two type of storms. This is a category four. What do you uh, expect to find come Monday when the, the storm is hopefully passed? Hey, the best guide we have is the. Uh for those of us that went through 2004, which was a horrific uh, year back then, was we lost uh, 40, 45 percent of the fruit. We didn't lose uh, such a high percentage of trees. I think it was less than 10 percent, but it, were, it wasn't Category 4. It wasn't even Category 3. So it's uh, my my best guess. It's coming up through the interior of the state, hitting hitting really the central part of the um, probably 80 percent of the industry will be impacted by a Category 3 storm at least. I would say you're going to lose 50% of this year's crop. And maybe, this is the tougher one, 20% of the trees. It's, the trees are tougher than you think, but it just it just depends on how strong the storm stays as it gets up into the into yeah, the, uh, and, and, whole county here. and trees with denser canopies tend to be more vulnerable to higher winds. Uh, orange juice futures, I know you watch this closely, up 12% this week. Um, so we know prices will certainly go higher at the grocery store. My question, it may be a dumb one, please tell me if it is, does the increase in prices that we will all see actually help growers offset some of the losses from the storm? It, uh, it does. Some of the price hits back, but we've been, we've been so horrifically weakened by the screening disease that our yields are so far down, our costs are so far up, that it really isn't helping us financially at all. And what it does do is it, it, it shuts the market down. Consumers only pay so much for orange juice. People think they're not affected if they don't drink orange juice. Well, if you own Pepsi or Coca-Cola stock, remember, Coca-Cola owns uh, Minute Maid and Pepsi owns Tropicana, Tom. So these are big corporations. A lot of people have these names in their portfolios. But uh, you've got uh, thousands of workers in the industry. It's an $8.6 billion industry, 45,000 jobs. Could some of them lose their jobs? Uh, tough, it's, it's tough to say, but it's really possible. Again, not so much. This is this could be a one-off event on a strong industry, and you could recover. Okay. But this isn't that. It's off of a horrific cycle of declining uh, tree counts and fruit counts due to the green disease we've had for four or five years. We've been losing 15% a year for five years. So if this storm is hitting us as we are already on our knees.